All right, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to attempt to repair, redo part of an old ice cream parlor chair that I have. It's a really nice tall one and it has wood handles on it. And the reason I wanted to change it up is because when I first got it, the seat itself was this old green, I guess vinyl seat. It was kind of gross anyway and I wanted to redo it. And the handles were, I guess the armrests you would say, are wood, but they're painted white. And I want to take the white paint off and expose the wood and just so you can see the grain and everything. I just think it will look richer and nicer. Um, and also, there was a period of time where my indoor plant, my pothos plant, was sitting on this particular chair. And I didn't have a plate for underneath the pot to catch all the water. So I knew that the seat was going to get destroyed by the water leaking out the, underneath the pot. So the seat's even more gross now. So I'm going to show you a close-up here in a second. But um, I just want to kind of show you before. It's not going to be a major transformation, but it's something that I think is going to make it look a bit nicer. And I thought, hey, what the heck, let's just do a video on it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. So as you can see, the chair is really gross. I won't get too close because I don't want to gross you out. But that's from the plant, the pot sitting on there. So that's disgusting. That needs to go. It's kind of rotted out. Um, the handles are, you can kind of see the wood through it. I'm not, I'm hoping it's oak, but I'm not sure. But it feels like a hardwood. So I think that's going to be nice. The color of the overall, yeah, look at this gross. This, don't look at that. Um, the overall color of the metal itself is nice. Like, I don't mind it. It's like, um, can you see in this lighting? I feel like it's hard to see. One second. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I think you can see that there is... It's like a tan color on there and it's kind of chippy like it's coming off in spots but I don't mind that like it just helps it look older I don't know how original the paint is but anyway so that is the plan I want to uh, strip the paint off the handles I'm leaving the rest of the paint the same I'm gonna remove this seat I'm really hoping that there's some just basic screws underneath I can just pop the top off remove this and then I'm gonna show you what I'm planning to cover this with Okay, so I don't know if this bag is going to be big enough. I'm going to have to cut it and then lay it over the seat. I'm hoping that there's enough material to cover the seat, but I thought this would be really, really cool on top. It's got the lettering, and it's kind of like a burlap type material, but no, not burlap. I don't know. It's, it's like a thick, thick material. Anyway, so I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, I will have to go shopping for other material because I don't have anything right now that's going to work for this. I have a bunch of random pieces of fabric, but nothing is what I want. Quick show you, hold on one second. I'm quick showing you here the paint remover that I'm going to use. I've used this before and I love it. Okay, this is where we're at now. I took the seat piece off and it was too gross. I just threw it away. I just got rid of it. Um, the screws that were in the middle were what was holding it on. I have, it, have them down there on the ground, which I guess I can get rid of them now. But anyway, so that seat I got rid of. I'm trying to figure out now what to do. Like, I have the paint stripper on the arms. I have it caked down really thick. And this stuff is like a white paste. As you can see over here. Okay. So I don't know if I should just paint it and then just get a pillow to put on it. Or do I do a whole new seat cover and screw it on like as a permanent fixture? Not sure yet what I'm doing. So right now I'm just going to let this stuff set and then I'm going to scrape this off and do a think on how I'm going to cover the seat. So I decided to go ahead and recut a whole new piece of wood for the seat. Um, as you can see, I have this piece of paper here. I actually used four pieces of paper I taped together and I traced the circle around the seat and then I have, I don't know if you can see it there. There is a circle there <laughs> that I traced out. I'm going to attempt to cut that, I'm a little rusty when it comes to power tools. So if I lose a finger, remember you saw it here first. All right, let's do this thing. All right, I am wearing eye protective wear. Well, sort of, I have sunglasses. And I do have these. Let's see how well I did. 
it's rough, but oh, let's get on there. I think that's okay. It's within the parameters for the most part. That's a little rough, but I think I can. Just trying to make sure. Let me take my glasses off for a second. My sunglasses are kind of keeping me from seeing everything. Um, yeah, so it's not a perfect circle. I'm not a carpenter, obviously. Um, so just kind of showing it around the edges. But what I'm going to end up doing is putting foam, some kind of foam or filling on it and some fabric. I'm probably going to sand off that little lump. It's okay if it's on a little bit on the inside of the circle. It doesn't have to be right to the edge just because of how it's going to be covered in material. So what I'm probably just going to end up doing is just... I need to buy some really rough sandpaper anyway. Just kind of sand off some of like the sections that are sticking out, like this section here. But actually, overall, I'm not. It's been forever since I've used a power tool. <laughs> not too bad. Okay, let's just do a test spot just to see how it's going. It's only probably been a few minutes. Oh, no, it's coming up. Ooh, I'm seeing some. This is not the best way to scrape the wood. Oh, it's coming right off of that. That's good. Oops, sorry, I'm sorry. I was paying attention. I was not looking through my phone. I was looking at what I was actually doing, which is okay, I guess. Oh, oh, that's coming up nice. I'm gonna go get my scraper. Oh, I think it is oak. Nice, okay, I'm gonna go get my scraper and see if some of this will come off for me. All right, we're gonna test and see how this is going. This is kind of why it's good to do this outside because of the gross paint parts come off. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm happy to see the wood underneath. Definitely going to need to put a little bit more of that paint stripper in here because some of this just doesn't want to come up and I don't want to gouge the wood trying to scrape it off. Okay, on to the next step. So I, where to put it? Oh, it's under here. I took the wooden circle piece that I cut out and gave myself a splinter. <laughs> um, actually, no, it's okay. But I actually pre-drilled the holes. I don't, I don't know if you can see here, 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 and here. I pre-drilled them so that it would actually, because the top of the seat had a few holes in it, so you could like screw in the seat just to make it a little bit more secure. So I did that, I matched it up. It was actually kind of hard to do because I couldn't get a pen or a pencil um, through, the pre, through the holes in the seat. So what I actually ended up doing was I took toothpicks and I dunked them in uh, nail polish and then I just kind of held this seat like on top and I just kind of went through like like this up <laughs> and I made marks with some purple uh, nail polish uh, just to mark it so that I could um, have the holes like all lining up. So I'm not sure how I'm going to line it up after I get the seat covered. I'm thinking of using the toothpicks again, but like taping some underneath just so they're kind of sticking up. So I want to go put the seat down, the holes line up, if that makes sense. So I will show you that in a second and we'll see if that works together. Okay. So the next step I have to do is, well, first let me show you the material that I picked out to do this. Um, I did end up picking this really cute vintage camper print and I love it. It's so adorable. So I think that'll be fun. I think that's going to work. So right now what I need to do is cut out a big section that's going to cover the seat and then I need to rip up this pillow. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of cheap and so instead of buying like actual stuffing or foam piece for this chair, I decided I, I was going to check my local thrift store and see if they had any old pillows that like were really stiff because I want it to be a really stiff, comfortable seat. Like some, some like foam pieces like squish immediately down, like I want it to be well padded. So I went to, to my local thrift store and then I found this pillow for $4. It's like a junk guilt pillow. I just want it for the stuffing. So for $4, I got a ton of stuffing. The only thing is, I think it's that loose polyester stuff. So that's going to make it a little bit tricky to cover the seat, I think. But then again, it might be okay. I have um, my stapler thingy ready. I don't use it very often. It makes me a little nervous because it's loud, but it should make quick work of this. And I think I put the staples in right. If I didn't, then we'll find that out. So, okay, right now I need to rip up this pillowcase. Uh, or should I cut the mat my material first? I think I'm gonna cut my material first. Um, just so that I have, let me 
this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. But basically, I just need to cut out a section that's... Where did I put my seat? There we go. So, I'm going to do that. Get you guys just a little bit closer. You can see my... Everything already. Oh, that's as far down as that goes. Okay. So maybe you don't need to be quite that close. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. So, I want to make sure I have enough material to go around this and the padding and then go under a couple inches all around so that I can staple it all down. So, I don't think it really matters. I just got one yard of this. I don't think it matters how I do this. So I make sure that I have plenty. I think how much I want to have on either side. Um, where's my scissors? I keep doing that. I keep losing my scissors. Whenever I'm doing a project, I'm always losing my scissors, especially if I move over. So, okay. So I'm just trying to make sure. Okay, I think I'm going to turn the camera off. It's going to take me a second to do. I'll be back, right back, right after I do this. Okay, I have my piece cut. It's um, just this piece. I think that's going to be big enough for what I want to do. Now I need to open this up, place the padding yeah, on here, and then somehow get the material over and get it to stay. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is put the material down on this table and then the, the cushion and then, or like the padding and then the wood seat so that that way I can staple the material. This is going to be tricky. I'm really hoping this doesn't give me too hard of a time, but anyway, how can we do this. Let's get this stuffing out. There we go. Okay, rip that. That's like a tough material. Make sure I don't cut my hair. Kind of like my hair. Okay. Let's try and keep this all together. I don't want to pull this out in little bits because it's pretty well packed in here, so I think it'll stay together. Mostly. No, sorry. I think it's mostly together. Let's hope. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, no harm, no foul. So, getting this to be all tucked in. <laughs> I know it looks like a lot. I know that it does, but you know when you sit on something, it just, you know, goes down. I think I might take some of this out, but I really was planning on using all of it. But that might be tuck it all in so it's like more of a sphere than a square that might not really be possible okay I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen okay it's gonna have to come together after I put the material on it all right I'm just gonna go like this and then hopefully like the, the idea is to go around and tuck this in as I go like that and then it'll be <sighs> What if I should take some of this off? I feel like I should. I'll just take a little bit off. I think I think that'll be okay. I think I got a little bit too much here. I think I'm really hoping this works out. Okay, I just gotta start somewhere, and I guess I'll just start here. I'm gonna start by I'm gonna fold it over a little bit just so we've got even pleats. Because a lot of chairs that I've seen that are covered when you look on the underneath part, it's like pleated or folded like this. So let's see if I did this right. Oh, yay, there we go. Okay. All right, slowly but surely, hopefully we'll get this done. All right, so next is work our way around the circle. Oh, um, wait, how did I do it? Mm. Is that a little bit too tight? I don't want it to like cut in the, to the naked. Okay, I'm gonna stop this now because I can feel my frustration rising and I would like to come back to you in a better tone. So let's let's go a little bit farther on and then we'll come back. Okay, so I kind of finished it. Let me show you, but you're gonna laugh because I overdid it. <laughs> so I got it on, but I, I, I took a lot of stuffing as I was going and this thing is thick. I made it way too poofy, but it will make it for really comfortable seating. 
So the back's a mess. I need to add some more staples in the back and then trim all this excess off just so I can get the seat on. So the next bit is I might just go through, add a couple more staples, trim this off, and the next step is just to screw it onto the seat base. So almost there, very close. Okay, so what I have done is, and it's not very orthodox, it's it's its own thing, but I <laughs> taped, let me show you the underneath part, I taped toothpicks to the seat so that when I line up the seat, hold, let me get that, hold on. Okay, so when I line up the seat, if you can see the holes underneath here, it's going to be tricky. Um, so hopefully it won't take me forever to find... The screws, I pre-drilled them so it would be easier for the screws to get through. But lining it up just right. I thought about using pieces of wire, but I just decided to go with this. So, I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. Alright, here she is, all finished. Yes, I realize the seat is too poofy, and that's just the way it's going to be right now. I didn't leave anything down there, so it doesn't matter. Excuse the cord, that's my, um... The ring light is hooked up. I would unplug that so it looked better, but the lighting is way better using the ring light. So yeah, I'm happy with the overall aesthetics of it, like the colors and everything. But oops, the only thing is I'm frustrated because I, I I'm a little embarrassed because it didn't turn out the way I wanted. I should have checked the stuffing more. Like if you look at it from this angle, it's it's a little overstuffed. Um, but time will take care of that, I'm sure, <laughs> if enough people sit on it. But um, I got most of the paint off the handles. There's still some in the grooves. I just don't know what to do about that. But you can see the wood, so I'm happy about that. You can see the grain. Um, maybe I'll do another coat of paint stripper at some point in time. But overall, it does look a lot better than, than it did, for sure. You can see here, again, you've got the paint. Like, how the heck does that even happen? Why? Where do you know? Thank you. Um, so that's a little odd. But it does look better than, than it was. Or it looks better than it did. Sorry, can't talk. I tried to measure the wood so it would get close to this. And I somehow didn't quite do a good job on that. Like I tried to get up front close so when you first initially see it, like it looks okay. But then on the sides, again, there was... Oh, let me... Let's see where I'm going here. There are these gaps. So I am a little frustrated with myself on that one. I would have liked it to go more further to the edge. It looked okay when the wood was sitting on there. But now that I have it all together, I'm not liking that. But, oh well. But it is done. It is finished and completed. And sometimes a project just isn't going to be exactly what you want. In fact, I don't think I've ever had one project end up perfectly... Uh, for me in the past. So there's always something. But it's done for now. And I do love the material. The material is just, it looks great. It looks really good on here. It's a nice sturdy material. And it is comfortable to sit on. Um, so I'll give it that. So when I went to put the seat on, I realized that I had drilled the holes. Um, how I drilled the holes, I flipped, how can I describe this? I flipped the wood. So I describe this anyway when I went to put put this on light up the holes it lined up wrong because I'd flipped it how can I ex explain that when I marked the holes I marked from the bottom up and then I drilled them out and however I did it I flipped the wood so when I put the cushion on it was flipped and backwards so <laughs> the initial holes that I drilled in the wood unfortunately did not line up so I had to redrill holes but actually in the end it worked out because I could line up the seat even more straight. Like before, I don't think I had it as straight as I wanted it to be. So it worked out in the end. It caused a little bit more work for me. But it was minute. It was not a whole lot. So it, it worked out in the end. But um, yeah, that's it. I wish I could be more excited about it. I just made it so poofy. By the time I got the staples in, I'm like... I don't want to rip those out. And I kept pulling out stuffing. I mean, I still have like this much left over. Like, oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. You live and you learn. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate your watching. And I hope this was somewhat interesting. Um, I wish it turned out better. I could show something a little bit nicer. But it, it keeps you humble. It keeps you humble. I, I think because in my head, I saw something very different. Um, 
but it's okay. It's, it's better than it was and we can all use it and it's all good. So I, I have, I will always find, I will always find something wrong with something that I've done. I would just nitpick on every little thing. So I got to let it go. Imperfection is okay. I don't believe it in the core of my being, but I have to tell myself that something, if it's imperfect, that's fine. You know, it's going to be what it's going to be. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.